Time now for the morning rush. Right now, Albuquerque police are searching for this SUV believed to be involved in a murder. Jacqueline V. Hill was shot and killed in front of her home last week near Unser and Ladera. Now, police say that a 2000 to 2005 light brown or gold Jeep, possibly a Cherokee or Laredo, was seen near V. Hill's home. If you recognize it, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. A man awaiting trial for DWI is now accused in another DWI case. Lorenzo Angel is accused of passing out behind the wheel. This is near Coors and Hanover last month. Now, he's already been convicted in two other DWI cases. He's still awaiting trial for an August 2018 incident. Now, in that case, he's accused of crashing into a couple's car and driving away from the scene. Erica. Well, this morning we are seeing a cold front pushing across the state, bringing us some snow in spots, especially the northern mountains. And just got a report of some snow and maybe a grapple in Silver City. As we go through the day today, staying very, very windy, so be careful driving out there on the roads. And by tomorrow afternoon, we'll bring in some tropical moisture, starting rain and snow during the afternoon hours. A Florida man is waking up in custody after allegedly burning an Albuquerque man's truck and destroying a popular special shaped balloon. Tristan McLean was hired to fly, fly, fly puddles at a festival in California. McLean discovered his truck with puddles in the back was on fire. Now, a man was pulled out of that truck. Police say that man lit the fire on purpose, intending to kill himself. Head football coach from UNM, Bob Davy, is out, leaving the Lobos after eight seasons. Davy and UNM have decided to part ways. The last three years have been rough for the team as attendance has also been going down. It's unclear if UNM and Davy have reached a compromise, but Davy's buyout after the season is an estimated $840,000. State Court of Appeals ruled of, that Fabian Gonzalez should not be in jail. Gonzalez is charged for allegedly trying to cover up the murder of 10 year old Victoria Martins. And he was released last week following a ruling by a judge who said the prosecutors failed to prove that he was a danger. The state appealed. But state Supreme Court justices held up that decision. New numbers this morning are showing that Bernie Sanders raised more money from New Mexico Democrats than any other candidate. The Center for Responsive Politics says that Sanders raised at least $379,000 in New Mexico. Elizabeth Warren is a close second. Meanwhile, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg has raised $239,000. Erica. Here's our metro threat index for today. It's actually on the high end, which isn't something we see a lot. That's for cold temperatures that'll be in the 40s today, but feeling like we are in the 20s for most of today in the northern part of the state. Also very windy, some gusts 50 to 65 miles per hour. The UFC will make its return to New Mexico. The fight card is set for February 2020 at the Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho. Details as to who will be on the card are still being worked out. Meanwhile, the UFC was last in New Mexico in June of 2014 at Tingley Coliseum. Tickets for the Rio Rancho fight card will go on sale December 20th. Millions are now bracing for coast-to-coast -coast storms. Right now, a dangerous system is threatening parts of the West Coast. Airlines have already canceled more than 350 flights today at the Denver airport alone. Now, the storm is heading toward Oregon and into parts of California. Forecasters expect the heavy dumping of rain and snow as well as some cold temps. A New Mexico animal shelter is inspired by a partnership between a brewery and a shelter in North Dakota. The two got together there to feature homeless animals on beer cans. So the Española Humane Shelter has since posted a call to action on social media to get the same thing happening here. Workers say that they are open to any breweries who want to help them out. The state's film industry is booming with more TV shows and movies setting up shop. And the film office says they just cannot keep up. They're now asking for lawmakers to give an additional $118,000 to hire more full-time employees. The film office says it's all thanks to raising the film credit cap during this past legislative session. Erica. Let's get a look at that morning drive. There's one accident, and the right lane is blocked at Alameda West at the river. So seek an alternative route. Uh, here's a look at Tracker going north on Coors. Not looking too compact there. Could see some slick spots out there this morning, so take it slow. People visiting the Capitol Christmas tree will see more than of New Mexico than just the greenery. Dozens of New Mexico businesses will be serving their products in D.C. following next week's tree lighting ceremony. Among the goods, hundreds of cans of beer from Red River Brewing. Beer will be featured alongside food from El Pinto, Garcia's Kitchen, and sparkling wine from Gruwe. If an ugly sweater party doesn't get you in the holiday spirit, upgrade to Red Lobster's take on the holiday apparel. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit Ugly Christmas Sweater is decorated with snowflakes, shrimp, and biscuits on it. Features a built-in pocket. 
naturally keeps the biscuits warm. The sweater goes on sale today online and sells for about 40 bucks.